Hi guys, welcome back to Online English Guru. And in today's class, we are going to learn about the Cavalier Poets. This is the second video in series of English literature for UGC and for other competitive exams. In today's class, we are going to learn about the characteristics of Cavalier Poets. And we are also going to focus on some of the Cavalier Poets like Robert Herrick. Richard Lovelace, Thomas Carey and Sir John Suckling. Let us know about Cavalier Poets. The Cavalier Poetry or the Cavalier Poets, this is a kind of poetry which appeared in 17th century. The Cavalier Poets was a school of English poets of the 17th century that came from the classes that supported King Charles I during the English Civil War. Then you may ask me, sir, what is the English Civil War? For that, I have to take to you to the English Civil War. Let us, friends, and if you, I have a one request for you. If you are watching for the first time, please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon. And please like this video and watch this video till the end so that you will get better results in upcoming exams and let us know about the English Civil War. The English Civil War is a period between 1642 to 1651 where a series of civil wars, a series of civil wars and political mechanisms between parliamentarians or we can say roundheads and royalists or cavalries principally principally over the manner of England's governance. They had a tough fight to decide how to govern three countries, Scotland, Ireland and England. The first war was held in 1642 and the second was in 1648 and the last one was in 1651. It ended in 1651. It ended with the, the victory the parliamentarian victory over Charles I and his son Charles II and it ended with war the battle of Worcester on 3rd September 1651 and it ended with the execution of Charles I and it, it, uh, it helped for a new kind of governance under Cromwell. We will come to know about that in Commonwealth uh, era. We, we are going to know that in later classes. Let us focus on the Cavalier Poets. Friends, the Cavalier Poets, the best known Cavalier Poets of that era are Robert Herrick, Richard Lovelace, you, you have to pronounce it as a Lovelace, and Thomas Carey, not Carew, it is a Thomas, Thomas Carey, and Sir John Suckling. These four were the best known poets of that era. Characteristics Cavalier poetry is closely linked with uh, royalist cause. Means uh, they, it is a close knitted group. They associate themselves with the royalist cause. The main intent of their poetry was to glorify the crown, Charles I. There was also a celebration of the monarchy of Charles I and it is often termed as a group of group. They are often grouped in a political category of poetry. And let us know more about the characteristics. Most cavalier works had allegorical and classical references. And they drew upon the knowledge from Horace, Cicero and Ovid works. They celebrated beauty, love, nature, sensuality, drinking, good fellowship, honor and social life. They were away from, they moved away from traditional kind of poetry which focused on poverty, traditionalism, religion. They focused on pleasure. Then, 
let us know about robert herrick robert herrick was 17th century english poet he was a lyric poet and a cleric he is best known for his uh, book of poems which is known as hesperides and his uh, another famous book noble numbers which was published in uh, 1648 uh, it is about spiritual works it was his first book book of poems and then uh, the most important striking feature or we can say overriding message of his poetry is that the world is beautiful love is splendid and we must use the use the short time we have to make most of it he says that life is short let us make it sweet this message can be clearly seen in his poetry or poems to the virgins to make the much of time to daffodils to blossoms corians going maying and the opening stanza in one of his more famous poems to the virgins to make much of time is as follows gather a rose buds gather a rose buds while a may old time is still a flying and this same flower that smiles today tomorrow will be dying you see you can he 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 tries to convey the message that life is short make it sweet let us know about more about another uh, poet of the era richard lovelace his period can be traced to 1617 to 1657 he lived approximately for 40 years he was an english poet of 17th century his best known works to athelia from prison uh, it's a poem it's a poem written in prison next one to lucasta going to the wares his first work was drama the scholar was the first drama written by his him which was never published and second one the soldiers which was based on his military experience it's a tragedy and uh, his sonnet the general goring a poem on bachinlian celebration <clears throat> to lucasta going to the wars written in 1640 concerned his political actions to athelia which was written in in prison uh, during his uh, it was written during his first imprisonment in 1642 for a couple of months later he was imprisoned for a year or so when he returned from the prison uh, the rule of charles first was ended which he loved most he, he was a staunch follower of charles first but uh, charles first never understood this point he wrote a lot of poems on animal life his poems famous poems were the ant the grass hopper the snail the falcon the toad and the spider in 1660 after lovelace died lucasta lucasta posthumous poems was published it contains a mock song which was a, which has a darker tone than his previous works let us focus on thomas carey thomas carey he was a, he was an english poet and first among cavalier songwriters his longest poem was rapture but his lyrics are among the most complex and thoughtful uh, carries one mask he has written only one mask that is colium britannicum which was for, for formed by uh, the troop the king and his gentleman in 1634 and published in 1634 itself let us know more about him the esquire is a collection of lyrics uh, songs pastorals poetic dialogues elegies addresses and occasional poems it's a collection of poetry of thomas carey he has written a, an elegy upon uh, death of dr john don uh, the title goes like this an elegy upon the death of john dean pauls it's uh, it, it is one of his memorial tributes 
notable another notable poem to sack sam let us know about sir john suckling at the end sir john suckling is a prominent figure and he was renowned for his careless gaiety and wit uh, the accomplishments of a cavalier poet he was also the inventor of the card game uh, cribbage he is best known for his poem the ballad upon a wedding and uh, he has uh, collection of, he has uh, published uh, some of the collection of uh, books one of them was fragmenta aurea it's a collection of his poetry which was published in 1646 and the so called another selection was his collection of poetry which was published uh, posthumously 1836 Uh, by alfred suckling he edited uh, his works the poems and the songs uh, it's a publication published by edited by john gray it contained uh, it consists of poetry of sir john suckling and he has written some of the dramas agu aglow aglora is a unsuccessful drama and the goblin uh has some reminiscence of the tempest uh, brenold brenold are discontented colonial which was written in 1649 between 1649 to 1646 is a satire on the scots uh, who are the lithuanian rebels of the play the fourth uh, and last of his plays the sad one which was unfinished woving the outbreak of civil war friends up to now we came to know about the cavalier poets i think you really like this video if you really like this please click on the like button and share to your friends that's it for today thank you for watching have a nice day